This is my charge to everyone. We have to be better. We have to love more, hate less. We got to listen more and talk less. We got to know that this is everybody's responsibility. Every single person here, every single person who's not here, every single person who doesn't want to be here, every single person who agrees and doesn't agree. It's our responsibility to make this world a better place. A powerful call to action today at the World Cup Victory Parade in New York, courtesy of the legend herself, Megan Rapinoe. She's been the team's unquestioned leader on and off the field. No one scored more goals than she did in the tournament. But perhaps her most enduring legacy will be the way she stood up for social change when the lights shine the brightest. She's a huge advocate for equal pay, something she spoke about with our colleague Rachel Maddow last night. I think everyone realizes now it's like, okay, it's time for the next step. It's time to, to work together, to get this to a better place, be collaborative. Um, the conversation is not about equal pay anymore. It's everybody. It's like, if you're not down with equal pay at this point or equality or whatever it is, like you're so far out of reality in the conversation um, that we can't even go there. I think it's time to move to the next phase. And I think everybody wants that. And nobody wants this contentious fight all of the time. As for her feud with Donald Trump, Rapino had a message for him last night too. I think that I would say that your message is excluding people. Um, you're excluding me. You're excluding people that look like me. You're excluding people of color. You're excluding, you know, Americans that, um, that maybe support you. And I think that we have a responsibility, each and every one of us. You have an incredible responsibility as, you know, the chief of this country um, to take care of every single person. And you need to do better for everyone. Jen. Um, there's so much here, right? I mean, there is, uh, there's these amazing athletes who understood that, you know, I, I read one of, I think it was Alex Morgan a few weeks ago said, I just, I always, I watched the girls in 1999 mm. and I watched the U.S. women's soccer team win then. And I remember Brandi Chastain took her shirt off yeah, and that was yeah. like the big controversy, yeah, yeah. but she weathered it she and she bra. like got it through, <laughs> into her sports bra. Um, and they saw, and they just like, I, I saw what it could look like and I always wanted to be her. I always wanted a career in professional soccer, right? That's progress. That's that in and of itself. Um, but I didn't understand at the time that it was going to come with all these other responsibilities, but it does. And it's really important because we had the opportunity to not just make progress for women in sports, but to have this, have that sort of um, uh, spread to other uh, parts of society. And, you know, just as the 1999 team inspired these women, they are going to, you know, they're inspiring millions and millions of girls and boys and women. In and and making the argument about um, equality, um, improving their worth, right? Um, I have, you know I, I tweet a lot about them, and I remember somebody said, "Well, you know, if if you know, the problem for the women athletes is they don't draw in as big as crowds, and so the market there's these market forces that say they don't make as much money, their teams don't make as much money as men's teams." I was like, "Yes, I'm aware of that. I'm aware that we built the market that way. I'm aware that we don't value women's efforts as much as men." But but that's changing and they're showing us they are fun to watch in addition to just being great um, athletes. They're also, she's just a born leader. I mean, I mean, <laughs> you, you cover Washington, you, you've been around politics. I mean, they're just people that had it and she just has it. Yeah, I mean, you could, yeah. you could, I was watching that uh, rally, you could see her with a political future, right? See her at the Democratic Convention. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you know, speaker. Yeah. That surprised me, actually. Me neither. Yeah. Um, and she's also willing, she, she doesn't have that flinchy thing oh, no. when asked if she'll get involved in political causes. Well, you go to Washington, I, I saw her on one of the uh, shows last night. Yeah, absolutely, I go to Washington. M MAGA world does not really want to pick a fight with, with this, with this I woman. I mean, so. the, when she called the shot, people were going, you know, you shouldn't be talking about not going to the White House before you win it all. Well, she put that pressure on herself and then she delivers. I mean, she just stands there and she strokes the ball in. And I mean, that's something, I mean, it's, she's a remarkable woman. I mean, she's probably she's the coolest woman in America right now. She Mike, Megan Rapino. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.